Hey guys, what's up? It's Jeff from Wonder Dog Sports. Last week I shared with you the four teams I felt would underperform expectations in 2018. If you haven't seen that video, check it out to see why I feel these four teams are headed downhill in 2018. Buffalo, Pittsburgh, Carolina, and Arizona. Now, in this video, I'm going to share with you the four teams I feel are headed for a much better 2018 compared to last season. Let's jump right in and start with the lowly Cleveland Browns. The Browns have been awful for what seems like an eternity. They spent the last few years dumping talent for draft picks. Thanks to that and general manager John Dorsey's highly aggressive offseason moves, the 2018 Browns will finally reap the benefits of their young talent. For a team that has had a miserable quarterback play for a long time, they now have a pair of options to lean on for a significant upgrade. With the drafting of QB Baker Mayfield number one overall, they hope to have their long-term fix. But the addition of Tyrod Taylor gives them an impact veteran right now who will stabilize that all-important position right away. Taylor is mobile and reliable at not turning the football over. He's coming off a stretch of games with Buffalo where he started 43 games the past three years, throwing 51 TDs to just 16 interceptions. Just as important, Taylor has already impressed the coaching staff and his new teammates with his professionalism, seriousness, and work ethic. The Browns also added wide receiver Jarvis Landry, who is a terrific slot weapon with the Dolphins. Throw in speedy rookie running back Nick Chubb and Carlos Hyde both inside power runners, and this offense should be balanced for new offensive coordinator Todd Haley. On defense, they return the pass rushing duo of Emmanuel Ogba and Miles Garrett, who had seven sacks as a rookie. Two talented ends can cause a lot of problems for offenses, and last season, when they were both healthy, they were very disruptive. The defense badly needed a cornerback who can play press man coverage, and they took one in the first round with Denzel Ward out of Ohio State. With Brian Bodie Calhoun, Howard Wilson, and Mike Jordan still around, the Browns' defensive backfield is loaded with talent, depth, and flexibility. After a horrifying 1-31 stretch the last two years, the current Cleveland roster doesn't resemble that bunch of Keystone Cops anymore. So yes, the Browns appear to have finally turned a corner and will be significantly better in 2018. The second team I think will outperform last season is the Jacksonville Jaguars. Jacksonville surprised in 2017, winning the division while making it to the AFC Championship game. Was that a fluke? No, it wasn't. The Jaguars outscored opponents by 149 points last year, tied for third best in the entire NFL. The Patriots and Jags were tops in the AFC in scoring differential, and the two met in the AFC title game. And Jacksonville had a very good offseason, strengthening an already good roster. It's no secret what the Jaguars do on offense. Run it down their opponents' throats, rushing for a league-leading 141 yards per game. The rotation is deep with running backs Leonard Fournette, TJ Yeldon, and Corey Grant. And when free agency opened up, the Jaguars added one of the top guards on the market in Andrew Norwell. QB Blake Bortles won't have to pass much, which is a good thing. But the passing game does add tight end Austin Severian Jenkins and 6'4 rookie speedster wide receiver DJ Shark out of the second round from LSU. But all that plays second fiddle to a bone-crushing Jags defense that is one of the best in the NFL after ranking second in yards allowed and points, just 16.8 last season. And they were tops against the pass. That defense is mostly intact and adds a pair of SEC talents in the first round pick, defensive lineman Taven Bryan out of Florida and safety Ronnie Harrison out of Alabama. The Jacksonville defense was exposed in the playoffs and could definitely use more consistency. Don't look for the talented and ba balanced Jaguars, however, to take a step back in 2018, as the defense and run game is strong enough to be an AFC force yet again. The third team I think will improve markedly from last season is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The Bucs' biggest weak spot last season was in the secondary. 
last in the NFL in passing yards and total yards allowed. That is not going to cut it in today's NFL. There were two primary reasons for this, personnel and injuries. The Bucks have addressed both this offseason. First, they added three players to the secondary and a pair of second round picks and cornerbacks MJ Stewart and Carlton Davis, along with fourth round pick safety Jordan Whitehead. They also brought back a key piece of the secondary and cornerback Brent Grimes. Second, they overhauled their line by signing four new defensive linemen in JPP, Vinnie Curry, Bo Allen, and Mitch Unry. But the bigger addition is first round pick Vita Bay, 12th overall for Washington. He is big, six foot four, nearly 350 pounds, and explosive. So teamed with six-time Pro Bowler Gerald McCoy, the Bucks have overhauled their defense for this year for the better. On offense, QB Jameis Wilson, Winston, excuse me, led a passing attack that was ninth in the NFL, and they locked up this season his favorite targets, re-signing wide receiver Mike Evans and tight end Cameron Brake to long-term extensions. Winston will miss the first three games of the season because of a suspension. So keeping veteran QB Ryan Fitzpatrick was a plus. He had seven TDs to just three picks with Tampa Bay in 2017 and should be able to hold down the fort until Winston gets back. The Bucks also made a big step in upgrading the offensive line by signing center Ryan Jensen, allowing Ali Marpet to move back to guard. They also drafted USC running back Ronald Jones, second in the second round. For a team that went 5-11 with a last place finish in 2017, the Buccaneers front office deserves kudos for assessing the weak areas and then doing a fine job keeping what worked and upgrading what didn't. Look for the Bucks to significantly exceed their low win total from last year. Okay, the final team I think is going to surprise in a positive way in 2018 is the Houston Texans. Houston has found a gem in quarterback Deshaun Watson. Last season before getting injured, 19 touchdowns to just 8 interceptions. He was dazzling as a rookie. But he's fully, and he's fully expected to make a recovery this year starting the 2018 campaign. In what turned out to be his final full game of the season, Watson tore up the Seattle Legion of Boom defense, going 19 for 30 for 402 yards, four touchdowns, and 67 rushing yards. This Houston offense will be much better with Watson for a full season. And he has the fastest trio of NFL wideouts to throw to in DeAndre Hopkins, Will Fuller, and newcomer Sammy Coates. The Texans also add third round pick tight end Jordan Atkins, who should upgrade that position. The offensive line was a weak spot, but they brought in Centrell Henderson, Senio Calamente, and Zach Fulton, while drafting Mississippi State tackle Martinez Rankin, another third round selection. Houston's defense was strong last year against the run, despite numerous injuries, and they bring back nose tackle DJ Reader and defensive end Christian Covington. J.J. Watt and Whitney Marcellus return from injuries and team with former number one overall pick Jadavian Clowney, who has emerged as one of the top edge rushers in the league. Marcellus had 19 and a half sacks in two seasons prior to 2017. The defensive secondary gets a huge improvement with the addition of safety Tyron Matthew from the Cardinals, a dynamic playmaker. The Texans also add cornerback Aaron Colvin from the Jaguars and rookie safety Justin Reed. Came in from the third round. Brother of former LSU All-American and NFL Pro Bowl safety Eric Reed. Throw in a talented returning linebacking duo of Benedict McKinney and second year Zach Cunningham and this defense looks to be much improved. I look for Houston to improve immensely on their terrible four win 2017 campaign. Okay guys, that's my view on the four teams that will overperform this NFL season. As always, get all my NFL picks delivered to your email inbox every week over at wonderdog.com.